Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add sections to any page on Shopify. This includes pages, product pages, collections, and even blog posts. So really, you can do this on almost any type of page you want to so that you can really fully flexibly customize your Shopify store on the pages you want to add the sections to. And by adding sections, it means you can add in multimedia collages such as this one. You can also, you know, just like any other basic page on your store, you can add in all the sections that you would typically just be limited to on your home page. Now you can add this to any type of page you want on your Shopify store, which also allows you to add a, another layer of flexibility and customization. Just like, as you can see here in these examples from Allbirds, you can see like on their product pages, they have these additional uh, product images that aren't necessarily displayed on every single product page as you can see on the beanie they don't have one there so that's going to be showing you how to do in this tutorial here today how to customize your pages and really add sections to any page that you want within Shopify now before we dive into things I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store you can go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below that's a brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify that will take you right over to a Shopify free trial we get started with Shopify for free today again and that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your Shopify store in the dashboard. Now, next, we're going to go over to online store. And now you're, we're going to, be going to be doing pages first on how to edit just a traditional regular page. The example we're using is, as you can see here, this is just test one. This is a basic test page. So this is a standard page that then has the multimedia collage section added to it. So I'm going to be showing you uh, how to do that first. And then as you can see here, this is a regular about us page that I made on other tutorials. And this one, as you can see, doesn't have any sections added to the page. We're going to explain why that is exactly and showing you step by step in this video how to make sure that you really customize and add sections just to the pages that you want to. Because if you do this incorrectly, it'll then just start showing up on every single page which I know some of you guys may want that and other you may not want that maybe you just want this this uh, added sections just to a single page so let me showing you how to do that with the templates editor uh, in Shopify so of course you want to make sure that you're logged in on your online store you're gonna go to themes now currently I am using the dawn theme on Shopify it is important that you're using an online store 2.0 theme with the new Shopify OS. 2.0 the dawn theme is the you know the most popular one in this you're gonna want to make sure that you're using a new up-to-date theme because this will not work uh, without it unless you want to use code or something like that but in this tutorial you don't need any code at all this is built in to the regular Shopify as well which is great you don't need to know any code to do this so that's awesome so if you're using either the dawn theme or any of these other popular uh, free themes with Shopify as long as they're running the newer online store 2.0 setup then you will be good to go uh, so just make sure you're using one of the latest up-to-date themes you're gonna click on customize here on the green button and that will bring you into the newer theme editor in Shopify so to show you how to do this step by step of course this is the home page right you're, you're you're like hey I like these sections I want to add this to other parts of my Shopify store so you know all these different rich text boxes featured collections videos image banners really the world is your oyster as far as whatever you want to add to your page so to do this what you need to do is you go up here to the top and you're going to select the uh, drop down then we're gonna start with pages so you go down to pages and if you just click on pages then we have this thing called create template so creating a template is what you're going to assign to pages in order to then add those sections to any page possible that you want you're creating a new template page with those sections attached to any given pages that you add to that template. I'm gonna be showing you, of course, how to do that. Uh, so utilizing the test template that I've already created, it's currently only assigned to one page. 
and I'm gonna show you how to assign it to the pages, of course, as well. But if we create a new template from scratch, as you can see here, we're under the pages section. Now, just to reiterate before we dive into the pages one, you can also do this on products as well. So as you can see here, you select product, you can create a product template as well. If you just wanna skip along to that, you can also do a collections template as well. So the same technology I'm showing you on the pages, also works for these other things if you want to customize your product pages more than just the basic stuff that's by default added on Shopify if you want to add those sections, right? Adding all the sections. You can also do it on blogs, right? On specific blog pages uh, or even certain blog posts. If you've added a blog and created a blog post, you can even add specific sections to those too. Now, it can get a little messy uh, with creating dozens and dozens of templates, but if you want that full flexibility and customization and adding the sections, it's definitely worth doing. Um, so doing it with the pages first, we're going to go ahead and go to pages, right? Now the default page, this is the standard page that will appear across all regular pages, right? So you typically want to leave a basic template just the way it is, right? Just a basic default page. When you go in to add new pages to your Shopify store, it won't have any sections, right? That's typically what most people want just for a basic page. But to create those flexible customized pages like this test one here, uh, what we're gonna do is we go into pages, we go and we're gonna create a new template. Again, the contact template is already made by default from Shopify. We have the test template, we're gonna create a new template. So what we're gonna do is we can create a template from scratch to customize the content, how it's displayed. After it's published, we're going to go in and assign it in the Shopify admin as well. Uh, so this is you know based on, you can create it based on another template. So maybe you already have a template that you kinda wanna duplicate, but just modify one thing. You can do that here if you just select the template you've already created, and then you can just modify it a little bit. Maybe if you just wanna tweak it for a certain collection or a certain page. We're just gonna call this uh, test uh, two, so test two. And as you can see, we're gonna just base it on the default page. So test two, and we're gonna create that template. So this is a brand new template. Now currently we're previewing the additional legal, legal info page. I'm gonna change that uh, once we go in and add the new page in Shopify in just a second. So we've added the new template, right? So once you add the new template, this is where you can then add sections to your page. You can do whatever you want. You can even add custom code, uh, featured products, really anything you want, any of the sections that you wanna add. We're gonna, let's just click a slideshow. So we're gonna add a slideshow. We can add that section. We're gonna go ahead and add uh, an email sign up. Maybe we want that on these pages too. We're gonna go ahead and add another section. We're gonna do a featured collection uh, just as an example. So these are all things, maybe we want all these sections. Now, of course, this is not like optimized for graphic design. Feel free to do whatever you want as far as what sections that you wanna add to your specific pages uh, in your Shopify store. You know, this is really the, you can flex, you can customize it however you want to do. So once you have that saved, right, we're gonna save that in the test two template. This test two is a template that will then appear across all pages that have it selected in the backend. As you can see, we don't currently have the test two template assigned to the additional legal info page. If you go to the Shopify store and we go to the additional legal info page, as you can see, it's not showing up because it's not currently assigned to this additional legal info page. We don't currently have uh, the test two template uh, assigned to that page. We're gonna go in and do that now. So if we wanna change that, of course, um, that's what we're going to do in the second. As you can see, you can even select here as to what's assigned and what's not assigned. Uh, as you can see, this temple is not assigned to any pages. So we're gonna go to the pages section. Now, uh, you can either do that here, um, but if you already have some assigned, it probably won't populate with this. So we're just gonna go back to the Shopify store dashboard. Then we're going to go to pages. And then as you can see, we have the additional legal info page. We're gonna go ahead and edit this page. Just, it works on any page that you already have created or new pages, does not matter. Uh, and then you're going to select the theme template. Right here is where you can then select test two. And then all those changes that you made on your template will then appear 
on the live page that you've added that template to with, with all your sections, right? So it does take a second. We're gonna go ahead and wait. It's gotta refresh it. Uh, we already have a that test one template assigned to test one, that page. Uh, the regular test template's already assigned to that page, which you can see that here. But the additional legal info page, let's go ahead and wait. Yeah, see, it does take a few seconds sometimes for it to actually load through to get that theme template assigned. But the theme template is when those new sections will be added to your page. Those new sections that you added in the uh, Shopify online store editor will then populate through the theme template. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna refresh again. Okay, boom, so now they are showing up, as you can see here in the additional legal info page. You can see we have the slideshow, right? We have the slideshow, uh, we have it dragged through. Now currently we don't have anything linked here, that's why it's just giving us that little red uh, X, we have subscribed to our emails. We even have a featured uh, collection here. So you can add all your sections to any given page by doing this. Now, I'm going to also show you what this may look like on a product page, for example, uh, just like how Allbirds is utilizing this because they are, are a Shopify store, so they're utilizing the same type of technology here. Now, they may have some additional uh, custom edits, but essentially you can achieve the same uh, look and feel uh, just by doing what I've showed you so far in the tutorial. So this is for the basic pages if you just want to edit things. And you could even delete a lot of this info uh, in your pages. You could technically just create like a dummy page and delete a lot of that if you don't want any of this showing up. Uh, you can also do that as well just to have all the extra info. Uh, but I know for most people, you just want to add to a regular page. Maybe if you're trying to create like a landing page, uh, you can delete a lot of this too. Uh, if you don't want that information there uh, in the template. So we're going to go ahead and try that as well. Uh, so if we go back to online store, we click customize. We're going to edit that template. We're going to go down to pages. We'll go down to test. Well, actually, we need to go to test two. So let's go back to test two, that template here. So you could even delete the regular page content like in the actual page editor, or you could even kind of like drag it around. See, so you can hide it. So you could technically just hide it as well. So if you want to hide that information, you can save that there. And then the regular page information on the additional legal info page, we refresh it, it no longer shows up. So this is a good way to do it if you want to create like a specific landing page without any of that information showing. Maybe you just want the sections to display on your page. So you can kind of do it either way. You can have the uh, information you already had on that given page with the template, or you could just wipe it out completely in the editor to just give you only the sections on the page. This is great for creating landing pages and, and really the, the customization and, and the flexibility here is really endless as far as what you wanna do with like the whole landing pages and adding sections, just removing the regular basic information. Of course, the URL path will be whatever you have listed uh, for the page that it's assigned to, such as this like additional legal info page. Um, so yeah, that's that as far as adding the template sections. Now to add this to a product page, we're gonna go in, same exact process. You all, so currently the default product page uh, just has the, these uh, uh, inf this information. You could even add like additional sections if you wanna just customize your product pages. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and create a, a new template here. So we're gonna do uh, test, let's just do test uh, two. So we're gonna do test two default product and we're gonna create a template here for test two on the product pages. So as you can see here, we then have this selected. Now, of course, this is on the uh, coffee cup. So the coffee cup currently, of course, does not, this is just, this is not actually assigned to the template. So we're just creating it from the basic template, but if you wanna add in other additional information, as you can see, we already have the review widget in here. Um, we're gonna add, so we have image with text. So we're gonna go ahead and add a section. So this is where you could add like a collage or something more specific for uh, any specific um, product. So we're just gonna add the basic collage to kind of give you that all birds look. We click save. We're gonna go back out of there and you can edit that however you want as well within that given section. So you can edit that section there. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to products. 
and then we're gonna edit, click this one here. And as you can see here, theme template, test two. And now this product will have the extra little collage that we added, whereas other pages or other products will not have that collage. Now this is on a per template basis, so you can do this on a variety of products. And as you can see here, this multimedia collage, this section is now added just for this product. You can select that template and add it to any other uh, page or product page that you want um, as well. And as you can see on the cat brush, we do not have the cat brush under that. So those are just regular images. As you can see, it shows customer reviews and then it doesn't have the collage down here above the image with text. So really like showing you just the flexibility of this, you can edit however you want is by utilizing those templates and then adding those templates in the page settings uh, for any of the products or collections you can do it for too. Um, and the pages, blog posts, you can add it just by going in to the given page that you want to use uh, with the sections that you've created. So you, and then you just select that theme template. So that's how you do it. That's how you add sections to any page on Shopify. Uh, if you got confused any of the way through this video, just rewind it back, go back to certain parts of the video, rewatch them. Cause I know it's a lot to take in. It's a, it can be a little bit confusing, but you know, if you just follow those steps, you can really have total customization of your Shopify store and add those sections to any page that you want and create a variety of different theme templates uh, within your Shopify store thanks to the newer online store 2.0 operating system in Shopify. It's really great. Um, but yeah, guys, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brandvalesky.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. Thanks so much for watching. Again, guys, I hope you found this video helpful on how to add sections to any page on your Shopify store with these newer Shopify templates. Be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.